getting a little bit hungry. What's this? The next culinary adventure? And udder and lung? Which one should I try? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Iron Chef One Town. In this corner, we have contestant number one, the lungs. And in this corner, we have contestant number two, the udders. Let's see who our young connoisseur picks today. You should pick me, because my succulent lungs are split into two halves by the trachea. These lobes are independent. Or me, with my juicy teeth separated by a suspensive buried ligament, keeping my halves separate. These halves are independent. The 11,000 liters of air circulate through me in one day. Well, 9,000 liters of blood circulate through me. My outer is made out of lobes. Each lobe is separated into a lobule. Each lobule contains over 200 alveoli. Uh, each of my lung lobes made of lobules and those crazy alveoli too. This is turning out to be quite the epic battle. But don't touch that remote, folks, because we're tied up at 3 all, and we'll be right back. This program has been brought to you in part by... There's a heifer in your tank. And we're back. Any last words, contestants? I'm super cool because inside my mammary alveolus, the bloodstream delivers nutrients to the alveolar cells. The movement of nutrients happens through diffusion and the nutrients are used to produce milk. The milk is released inside the alveolar lumen. When a calf flinches my udder, oxytocin is released, inducing smooth muscle contraction in the alveoli, which then induces milk letdown in the teeth. Is that all you got? Gas diffused through my alveoli cells. Oxygen comes into the environment. And when it reaches the alveoli, it diffuses into the surrounding blood vessels, turning into carbon dioxide. Also, muscles within the chest cavity create pressure differences, allowing air to move in and out of the So wait, diffusion occurs across one cell layer in both of us? I guess so, hey? So we're really quite similar. So when how? Who's it gonna be? Well, that really didn't help me choose what to try for my culinary adventure. Maybe a little taste of each would help. They both taste so spongy and elastic. Ayah, how do I tell the difference between the two now?